I'm in the middle of shooting a commercial here in the attic and it's gonna be awesome guys. I mean, I do have to use some unconventional and weird techniques because I don't have a professional studio at my disposal, but you'll see all that in the behind the scenes video. For now, in the meantime, I just want to give back something to you guys, to thank you for all the support and for subscribing. Let's not get corny about it, you know? Um, but what I did is I edited and color graded some of the footage already for this commercial and it looks really, really good. So I saved that color grade as a lot and you can all and you can all download it for free. But first, before you do that, I want to tell you how you can adjust that LUT to your liking. Because you all know that a LUT, most of the times, it's a hit or miss. You have to tweak LUTs to make them work for your camera and your footage. You know, I created this LUT for this lighting setup and these colors. I don't know what it will look like when you use this LUT on travel footage, for example. Maybe it looks really good, who knows? So I'll show you some basic adjustments that you can use for every LUT to make it work for your footage. And then just try it out. Hey, it's totally fine. Okay, so we're in DaVinci Resolve and if you're working with Premiere Pro or Final Cut, the main idea of what I'm doing, the adjustments are the same but of course the buttons and windows will look different probably. So you'll have to figure that out depending on what software you have. Now, the first thing you should understand is that there are basically two kinds of LUTs. Well, there are a lot more specific types of LUTs, but for now, let's keep it simple. There are LUTs that you can use for log footage and LUTs that you can use for footage shot on one of the picture profiles or picture styles of your camera. So when your camera doesn't support log, like the Canon M50 for example. And the main difference is that LUTs for log footage will add a lot more contrast to the footage because log profiles are super flat. If you would use one of those LUTs on footage shot with a camera that doesn't support log, then the footage will look super overly contrasty. I shot my commercial in C-Log with my Canon R5, so it's a LUT that will work better for log footage. Are you still with me? I hope it's not getting too complicated, but anyway, that doesn't mean that you can't use this LUT for footage shot with a camera that doesn't support log. What you need to do then, first of all, is try to lower the opacity of the LUT. In DaVinci Resolve, you can do that here in the color tab. Let's just apply a LUT, and then here in the key tab, lower key output. And with a bit of luck, you could get some really good results this way. Okay, now let me try to apply the LUT that you can download to some footage shot with my Canon M50. I shot this clip in the neutral profile and I turned down the contrast and saturation all the way in camera. And because I did that, this LUT that's for log footage actually doesn't look too bad. Maybe a tad too much contrast, but we can fix that by taking down the opacity. Alright, and to install a LUT in DaVinci, just go here to LUTs, reveal in Finder, probably reveal in Explorer for Windows and just drop your LUT in this folder. Close, go back and refresh, then it will appear. Okay, so that's the first thing you can do to make a LUT look good. Take down the opacity. And then next we have some basic adjustments we can do, like exposure, contrast, colors. First of all, exposure. And there are different ways you can do it. A simple way is to go to the color wheels and then here you can adjust gamma and gain. Gamma for the midtones, gain for the highlights, and if you'd want to, you could also use lift for the shadows. And at the bottom here, click number 2, you can adjust the white balance and tint. And when the image still doesn't look the way you want it, you should go to the curves. Here you can also make the image darker or brighter, but I would use the curves to add contrast. So a basic contrast you can achieve by pulling down the shadows here and raising the highlights. And always make sure you have the waveform available so you know when the highlights are blown out or the blacks crushed. And you can even take it a step further and start adjusting specific areas of your image by creating more anchor points in the curve. You could even raise the shadows here to create a more faded look. Okay, and then finally, you can adjust the colors. In the Curves tab, click on the first little dot here, and this is Hue versus Hue. 
Here you can adjust color. Down here you can see that this image consists of mainly reds and oranges and a big spike of blue. That's the background. Let's say I want to change that blue background. I think at the moment it looks too warm, so I'll make two anchor points here, not too close together, because then you won't get nice and smooth color transitions. So like this, and pull that line up, and the blue changes to a cooler, more aqua blue. Looks better, I think. And finally, I think the rum bottle looks a bit too red. I want it more towards yellow, so something like this. And that's how, with a few basic adjustments, you can tweak any LUT you've downloaded. Okay guys, so you can find the link for the LUT in the description, it's on my website and you do have to fill in your email address, but that's just so you can get the download link. I won't send you any newsletters or spam, anything like that, I promise. So just download it, try it out and let me see the results. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.